Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today, I'm going to show you how to highlight the birth date on a customer's form if it happens to fall within their birth month. For example, it's currently November. So you can see here two different records. This guy gets all highlighted, right? This way, when you open up the customer's record, you can quickly see, oh, it's your birthday is either just passed or it's soon, and I can say happy birthday. <laughs> Today's question comes from R. Isaac from Cheney, Washington. He's been a student of mine for 10 years. He's got his 10-year badge. He says, I've developed an access database for a local food bank. The director would like the birthday field for each customer in the registration form to be highlighted during their birth month. How can I code this? Should I build a query for the birth month or add conditional formatting to the birthday field to highlight it based on the current month? You can do it without a special query field. That's one way to do it. You could make a query and then separate out the month right in its own field. But if you know a little trick with conditional formatting, which I'm going to show you in a minute, you can do it right in the customer form with no extra work. Now, this will be an expert level video. What does that mean? Well, expert to me is between beginner and developer. So it's a little bit more than the beginner levels, but it's not quite in, in the developer. We don't need any programming for this, but you got to know some functions. What do you got to know? Well, you should obviously know what conditional formatting is. If you've never used it before, go watch this video first. We're going to use an option in conditional formatting called expression is. So go watch this video if you want to get a head start on this, but I'm going to show you how to do it in just a minute. And of course, you're going to have to know how to figure out what month it is based on a date value. So we're going to use the month function. This video covers year, month, and day. Go watch these. These are all free videos. They're on my website channel. They're on my YouTube channel, on my website, <laughs> both, all four of them. <laughs> Go watch those and come on back. Okay, here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can get a copy off my website if you want to, but you can do this in any database you want. I'm going to work with a single form here, but the same thing works whether you've got a single form or a continuous form. It'll, you can do the same thing. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. And we're going to go, we're going to pretend customer sense is birth date. All right, well, I'll just change the label over here. Right? It's customer sense though, right? Okay, you get it. So go to customer sense. We're going to turn this thing off. Go to format and then conditional formatting. All right, new rule. Now, we're not going to base it off the field value because we're not, we don't actually want the actual value because the whole value, you know, it involves a year and a day and all that stuff. All I want is the month. So we have to split it out using the month function. But to do that, we're going to have to go and make an expression. All right now, what's the expression going to be? It's going to be is the month of customer sense, the birthday, right? Is month of customer sense equal to the month of today's date? Okay, so we're going to say month of your field customer sense. If that's equal to the month of today's date. They got to be careful and I'm going to show you why in just a minute. This is what people usually type in, all right? If that's true, we'll set the background to yellow. Okay? Now, hit okay. Everything looks fine, right? Looks good. Remember what this looks like, folks. All right? Hit okay again. Save it, close it, reopen it, and it's not working. All right, even though it's currently November and this should be November. Oh, I should probably tell you guys, I'm using ISO dates. That's another thing. I'll put a link to my ISO date video down below. My, my goal is to get uh, daylight savings time gone and everyone using ISO dates. But I, 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 I digress, here we go. Okay, so, <laughs> so go back to design view now. Let's take a look at what the problem is here. Click on this guy again, go to format, conditional formatting and oh, look what happened. And you see the subtle change there? Here, I'll show you what it used to be. Here, it used to look like this. This is what we had before, right? That's what we typed in. Okay, we typed in month customer sense equals month date. The problem is Access was trying to be helpful and it thought, oh, you mean the word customer sense and the word date. No, Access, no. Thanks for trying, but you don't win a prize. Right? I want the field customer sense. And what do we have to do with fields? We have to put them inside of brackets. Even though we don't have spaces in our field names, which is something that I tell you never to do, 
Sometimes these little wizards and these little tools try to be helpful and they convert things for you. So you gotta put brackets manually around your fields in here. This is one of the things that always trips up new users. Same thing with date. We don't want the word date. We want the date function. So we have to put empty parentheses after that. All right, this is where everyone always stumbles on this stuff. I did too when I was a new user, when I first started using Access. This kind of stuff is frustrating. All right, because you think it's supposed to work a certain way and it doesn't. So double click on it, go back into here. Customer sense has to have square brackets around it. Okay, it's just one of those things you got to remember. And date has to be the date function with empty parentheses after it, just like that. Okay, and then once you got it like that, hit okay, hit okay, save it, close it, open it, boom, there you go. And now it works. See? Find someone else, there it is. See that? And you can do the same thing in a continuous form if you want. Here's a customer list, we'll do the same thing here. Design view, open this up, format, conditional formatting, new rule, expression is, the month of customer sense, the field customer sense equals the month of today's date. And we'll make it yellow. Hit OK, apply, save it, close it, open it. There's all your people who have birth birthdays this month. All right? Pretty easy stuff, right? Once you know the tricks, it's, it's the tricks that always throw people. In fact, I remember myself years and years ago when I was first learning this stuff, I believe I did it the old way where you take a query, you put a, a field in the query that's got the month separated in it, then you use that to, it, it was a pain. But once you know how this works, then that's not that hard. If you wanna learn more about this conditional formatting stuff, including advanced conditional expressions, I covered in my Access Expert Level 19 class. Like I said before, it's a little bit beyond the basics, but it's, it's good stuff. This class also covers a lot of other stuff like exporting, importing, Microsoft Word mail merge. You can see everything that's covered. There's lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff. I'll show you how to highlight a whole line. That's pretty cool. All right, we do these little bars and all kinds of tricks. So Access Expert 19, you'll find a link to it down below. So our Isaac, I hope that answers your question. That's gonna be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers Access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your access project, Sammy is your guy. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't wanna to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, 
please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90-minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.